Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. Before I begin, I would just like to thank my viewers and everyone that has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. Um, I would also like to thank everyone who has purchased a reading with me, and I would like to say thank you to everyone who has commented on my videos. I can't answer everybody. I don't have time, but I do read each and every comment, so thank you so much. Um, this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. If it does not, uh, go check your moon and your rising sign. Some months it may not resonate with you at all, so simply go check another reader for your messages and check back in another time. This is a love reading for the sign of Pisces. Now, as your overall energy, we have the Judgment card. And the judgment card speaks to, um, it can speak to something or someone being resurrected from, from your past. It can speak to second chances, wiping the slate clean. Um, it can also speak to rising up from the ashes, uh, an answered prayer. This can also be a judgment call that you make on something or someone else will make on you. But just know that with the judgment card, things are happening for a reason. The spiritual forces are at work. Now, underneath that, I have the Five of Cups. So I know that something has happened and you are focusing on that situation and you're not seeing the two cups that are left standing. You are wanting something that you can't have or that is not good for you you may be regretting decisions that you made in the past with that card. With the Nine of Rods, all those rods behind him are the lessons he's learned on this journey. But the one he's holding on to, that's the latest lesson he's just learned. And it was a hard lesson learned. You can see um, you can see that he's battle weary. He's very cautious. He's on guard, like he's waiting for something else to happen. And we have the Eight of Cups, which shows me that there was an imbalance in that relationship because we have five cups on bottom and three on top and this person here their back is hunched over and they're leaning on a cane it's not like the um eight of cups in the traditional rider weight where he's got his head up and he's looking forward he's moving forward um this person here you can see that they they are emotionally drained and you see the mountains in the distance it's like they feel that there are mountains to climb in order to find those missing two cups this person is very discouraged and these overall energies are reflected here here we have the Two of Swords. And this is a very emotional decision this person is trying to make. And I know that this person knows the answer. But they just don't want to see it. They're probably feeling alone with the hangman here. 
and they know that something has to be sacrificed for greater gain. The card of standing your ground, fighting for what you believe in. And temperance. Temperance, she's going to bring in healing and she is your guardian angel. She's watching over you and she's asking you to be patient. Everything is in divine timing. This card here sits next to the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups can speak to reconciliation and so can this card here. It speaks to second chances. It can also speak to a new person coming in. It can be a home move. It's a new emotional start and it's an opportunity that is being handed by the universe. That is confirmed here with the Wheel of Fortune. So there is a change coming here. That is out of your control. Um, this again is also a very karmic card. It's about destiny, fate, luck. It's The wheel is constantly turning and it can bring things back around. Second chances, reconciliation. And this comes after this challenging situation, whatever occurred before this. Obviously, the relationship wasn't balanced. There was no communication. You could not agree. And this card indicates some type of a separation. And that could have been with a fire sign, but it doesn't have to be. It could simply be someone who embodies those energies. Um, on the negative side, somebody very uh, arrogant, uh, stubborn, self-centered, um, bad temper, um, and very jealous. Um, on the positive side, this person would have been very fiery, passionate, ambitious, very confident. And that's probably how you would have known him uh, before all of this started. How he presented himself to you in the beginning. But for some reason, um, something happened and there was a separation here. Um, and, you know, we have the Ten of Coins here, and that speaks to the um, home, uh, the stability, emotional security, financial security. It's family, um, a loving family, happy home. And... Whatever happened there has uh, brought a lot of confusion to the home. You are wishing for the truth. You, this Queen of Swords, she... Um, she cuts ties with things that no longer serve her, so you may be wishing to do that. Six of Cups. So either if you're already separated, this person comes back, or 
it's uh, you simply thinking about the past. Um, thinking back to the way things were and looking at it through rose-colored glasses. On that we have strength, the need to face your fears, the need for reflection with the hermit, to go within to find your answers, to help you make your decision. Moving away from a challenging energy, but all those swords are standing upright, so you're taking whatever happened, you're taking those worries with you. Still, you won't let them stop you. You won't let them stop you here from moving forward, from moving to calmer waters, for fighting for what you believe in, for uh, an emotional fresh start. You, um, again, some, some of you um, will have the chance to reconcile. And maybe that's what this decision is all about. Um, because I keep getting cards that, that do indicate a possible reconciliation. And this is, this is at the center and touches every card. And it's right in line here with this uh, Two of Swords. Um, so this can represent moving in with someone, a commitment, uh, reconciliation, taking a relationship up a level. But now, on that, I have that Two of Swords again. So that's what I think this is about. Some sort of offer of reconciliation. Whether you're still living together and you're not talking. Or whether you are separated and this person comes back. So you have a, a decision to make something that really touches you deeply and you have a lot of doubts and fears this king comes up with solutions and will again uh, we saw that over here severs ties with things that no longer uh, serves him. This card can also indicate seeking legal advice. On that I have the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands, you see we have the Queen here and we have the King. And again we have the Queen and we have the King. So we are talking about uh, a couple here. And this Queen, she takes charge. She makes things happen. She takes action. She, she's been through a lot. And she can heal any part of her life. She has that power. And so her energy here is available to you to use. To help you to decide, to help you to heal. The possibility for a new start is very strong here and also um, very promising if you do take that chance. Um, if you don't accept the offer of reconciliation and move forward, because leave that one right there, you are unhappy about something here. 
you're again focusing on to those three cups. And this has to be with do with uh, some sort of betrayal, some sort of uh, could have been cheating, um, gossip. Whatever it was, you were feeling incredibly unhappy. And you're not noticing that new opportunity that the universe is trying to hand you. It's up here. The Ace of Cups. The universe is trying to hand it to you, but you don't see it because you're so focused on what has happened here in the past. But the Empress is here to tell you that you can um, move forward. Now is the time. And this night also says, move forward. Get a plan. Make a plan. Move forward. This, this uh, night, he indicates moving slowly towards your happiness. And I don't believe that that is there in this situation here. I just don't feel it. Um, we have the uh, Two of Cups here. Again, speak to reconciliation. And some of you will go that road. Um, but you need to get clear on what is acceptable. To you and what is not on an emotional level. Again, the Nine of Rods showing you very weary, very cautious, very hurt as you hold on to that latest lesson. The need to set boundaries and make wise decisions. Again, a card of confusion. Unable to decide about that relationship. And again, the Empress showing up to say yes now is the time to move forward with something. And with her, we have death. This is going to be a complete transformation for you. That is a welcome change. And you um, finish here with the Wheel of Fortune. If you've been down on your luck, things are about to get a whole lot better here. You you need to stop focusing on the past. Turn around and look at those two cups because you have a positive, new, solid beginning waiting to come in for you. You can rebuild your life again. And the Ace of Cups up here is down here now in your outcome. So, like I said, for some of you, you're going to reconcile. Um, for others of you, you are going to leave it behind and move forward. And for those of you that do move forward, there is a new relationship coming in for you. Um, and whatever this relationship, this new relationship coming in, 
is going to be something long lasting. So, a decision to be made. Take charge of your life. This is a victory card. Which path are you going to choose? The angel message cards I have for you, I have two. I have Isaiah. It's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I am watching over you, guiding you, and protecting you during these changes. And I have Archangel Raphael. I am helping you to heal physical challenges in yourself and others. You are a healer like me. The Angel Answers a card that I drew for you. Meditation brings answers. I'm just going to read you from the book exactly what that means. Trying to come up with an intellectual answer to your concerns hasn't been successful. That's because the solutions you seek can only be found by going within, through meditation or inner spiritual work. You may also gather insights from your nighttime dreams as your subconscious creates solutions for you that are not available to your waking mind. So, those are your messages. Um, if you would like to book a reading, the details on how to do so are in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching, Pisces. Many blessings. Bye for now.